In the first Python Django tutorial, we are going to create a web project together. Don't worry if Python or Visual Studio Code isn't installed on your computer yet. I have link and the video in the description that will guide you through installing them step by step. First, let's create a Python project. Click on open folder and create a folder named Python. To kick off web development with Python, I will set up a virtual environment. Technically, we could develop our project without a virtual environment. But let me tell you why that's not best idea. By using a virtual environment, we get an isolated project space. No conflicting dependencies between projects. A cleaner, more organized workspace. These days, virtual environments are the standard for professional development. Open a command prompt, and with this simple command, we will create a virtual environment. This part of command is the name of the virtual environment folder. Feel free to name it whatever you like. All virtual environment is ready. Now I will install the Django framework in this environment using a straightforward pip install command. But wait, I want this installation to happen inside the virtual environment. To make that happen, we need to activate the virtual environment first. Here is how we can activate it. If you see this little flag in your terminal, congrats. Everything is set up perfectly. Next, let's bring Django into our project with pip install Django. Django has been successfully added to our project. You can use the Django admin command to explore all the awesome features and commands that come with Django. For example, we will create a project with the start project command in a moment. You will learn what the other commands do in the other videos of training. Now it's time to create our first Django project. I will name it Django app. Here's the command to create the project. Once created, you will see a Django app folder containing a Django project structure and a manage.py file. The Django app folder also includes several Python files. Don't panic. I will explain what each of them does over time. The manage.py file is a powerful tool for managing and maintaining your Django project. To get our web server up and running, I will use this file. Navigate to the project directory and run this command to stop the web server. Now open your browser and go to the provided address. The Django web server is live and ready. Make sure to check out the next video in this series where we will dive even deeper into Django. And if you want to support us, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up.